Happening now, the countdown to liftoff. A rocket is scheduled to launch any minute from Florida, and it's carrying some special technology into orbit. NBC10's first alert meteorologist, Crystal Clyde, joins us with the latest on this launch. It's very important. Yeah, Jackie, Tracy, this is exciting for the weather world because this is part three of a series of satellites being put into orbit that are improving our ability to forecast. So let's talk about the conditions for this rocket launch. This is actually a live view. It may happen right now while we're on air because the goal is for it to launch at 438. So we're almost there. And you can see the temperature is 68 degrees in Cape Canaveral right now. Winds are at 17 miles per hour. And I just saw that they tweeted out it is a go for the launch. And it looks like they are getting prepared for that to happen currently with those winds under the threshold and the cloud cover at a point where it's comfortable to launch. So what happens once this rocket launches? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. Let me hop out of the way so we can bring planet Earth into view and discuss what's going to happen with this newest satellite. So the rocket launches as GOST-T. It will be renamed GOST-18 once it is in orbit. And take a look at what's going to happen here. This is going to bring improved forecasting to the western hemisphere of our planet. Improving wildfire detection is going to be a huge key with this new satellite because it's going to be focused over the western half of the U.S., meaning we'll have better ability to understand the fires that develop during the growing season as our climate continues to warm. It's also going to give us better air quality and sea surface temperature data. And why is it important to us on the eastern half of the hemisphere, the eastern half of the U.S.? Well, it's going to be bringing us data that actually better tracks storms heading our direction. And there's the live view of that launch happening right now. Really, if you're a meteorologist, but also just if you're watching at home, you should be excited for this because it's going to improve our data, improve our information, and make for a better forecast. And there is the launch. So again, once it gets into orbit, it's called a geostationary satellite because it's going to be orbiting at the same speed as the Earth's rotation. And that means it'll continually take that picture of the Western Hemisphere and give us that great data that will hopefully give us a better forecast for years to come, guys. Wow, that's, cool. that's fascinating. Oh, yeah, and a very cool launch. Deja vu right now to the anchor desk in Florida when I covered so many of these launches. And like, wait, no, it's not 10 years ago. It's here we are in Pennsylvania. But that is very cool. Wow. And when you think about what it can do and the capability. The remarkable. information will provide for sure. Yeah. Crystal, thanks.